the wait is over, we get to this matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Cleveland, Ohio, USA, presenting the challenger, the problem. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 15 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world. Hi, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the cover. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot.
Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. It won't take many of those. Right where he wants to be in the play. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your customer. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Big call from Punch Land. Now he gets back to range. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow and a big moment in this fight. Oh! Big body kick land. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Blocks the shot. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Ooh, now he's got the tie from Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai punch. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC. And there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. It's in these big leg kicks. Straight right, he misses. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Oh, yeah, right hand. Shot is blocked. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Game break going for the leg kick. He misses. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Visibly limping here. Connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that. <laughs> Single collar tie now. Oh man, head keep land. Straight right hand, no good. 
So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. And he landed the right hand there. 58 total strikes. Sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch lands in the perfect spot. Thirty seconds to go. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Plus right hand is true. Why, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing but he can't take many more like that. Ready, fight. Ready. Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Well, most fighters can't What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. You got him. He went high on that Efficient one. Efficient. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea, maybe he can. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. The unofficial numbers thus far, 76 total strikes have found the mark for Jorge Game Red Masvidal. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Trying to stay in this fight. Oh, straight right. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press this. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's done. He's done. Oh, big left. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string any. Oh, oh, Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. He might get a finish here. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knee. Push at the hip, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard stuff. Unbelievable! And that will do it! Unbelievable result here tonight. Just before the end of that round, a huge shot that drops his opponent and ultimately spells the end of the fight. The referee jumps in there furiously to stop the fight. That is a crazy, crazy knockout just at the end of the round.
now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 54 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. The All right, so he dedicated decades of his life to this very goal, and he is now the UFC champion. No one can ever take that away from him. Yeah, man, you gotta take a lot of confidence from staying so committed to a goal for so long. The moment he walked into the UFC, he 